Okay, so do you know, do you like chicken? Yes. And uh, uh, do you know what is uh, how what they feed chicken? What they give to the chicken? No. They give something called soya beans, and soya beans are genetically modified. Do you know what is genetically modified? No. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you. Do you want to find out about it? Yes. All right. Yeah. So we are on. Uh, hello. We are on the Hansel High Street. We'll try to ask a few people about the about the, their food. What do they know about the food they eat? What is in there? And uh, about basically, we'll try to get out. Do they know a lot about the uh, genetically modified food? And we'll see how it goes. Here we are. Thirty, basically, I keep trying to ask people a few questions, but everybody ignores me. Not ignores me, but they very shy of the camera. So we keep trying. Only one success is was Zena. She didn't mind to speak to the camera because she knows me. But the other ones, they don't know me. So, and we in the spot where is nobody <laughs> walks around. So I don't know. I keep trying, but but there's no chance. My suspicion is that. Some of them, they don't really speak English, so they are shy. But they should try, no? I mean, why not? Yeah? Very diverse crowd in here in Hanslow. They don't really care about their food, you know? just for, for our own project because people don't know about genetically modified food what's happening when is it allowed in UK or not and we're just doing the research we're taking it on video just to to make people aware of that and just to, to, to see the general people's opinion about it would you mind to talk in camera ask just few questions about it sorry no just I mean if you eat meat do you know where the source of the feed for the meat comes from and and stuff like that i mean because they, they don't really talk about it in the in the mass media and nowadays genetically modified food is they 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 basically the chicken chicken or other 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 animals are fed by genetically modified soya beans which come from south america and other countries and people don't really know about it because it's not but by law they don't have to label it you see so i just with I'm only vegetarian i don't eat meat so yeah yeah anyway, so. yeah but you eat tofu right eat? tofu you eat tofu yeah. tofu is in thai usually in thai food they use tofu a lot it's a so soya bean soy bean never heard about it where are you from if it's not secret india Iran, yeah. Iran? Origin, no, India. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every year they have to buy the same seeds because the the crop for next year doesn't produce any seeds. Have you heard about that? No. Have you heard about the BT cotton? BT cotton? No. Have you heard about it in India? So what, what happens is that uh, they have a genetically modified cotton crop and they let their animals to, to go and, and roam in the, in, th in the fields yeah. of the same cotton fields and, and uh, animals die because of, of the genetic... I, I, I know that they use the, you know, this to feed for the crop, they use chemical stuff, you know, yeah. the, to grow the crop, make a better result, you know, those um, but do they get causing problems, you know, like... So uh, it's not chemical, it's yeah. not chemical, it's a genetically modified crop, actually. Yeah. So they, what uh, they do, they work, they, work, uh, they genetically modify the seeds Mm, I mean, yeah. You know, they mix, they mix, uh, uh, they mix. Let's say, let's say, it's, uh, they have this. Uh, I'll talk about soya, so I'll explain and you understand. Yeah. So basically, what what they do, they put, they put DNA together of herbicides of of wheat killer and the and the soya bean together. Mm. So it goes into DNA DNA of the soya bean, yeah, yeah. right? And then they grow it, and that's what we consume. 
And in India they have the same problem with the cotton thing and with the other seeds, probably with the soya bean as well, I assume. So that's what we're trying to find out. But people are they, people are totally ignorant about it. People don't don't really know. Even even people who come from India, they don't really know about it. I don't know much about it, but I do read the labels, you know, on the, on the food. But they don't they, label it, that's the problem. I know, the Indians don't label it, yeah, and here they do, they, most of it. They don't. Most they, of they, they, they don't have to. They don't have to label the, the genetically modified. Because they, they don't sell, how, how it works, they, they, they don't sell genetically modified food in the supermarkets, okay. but they feed for the animals, let's say. Okay. They feed with genetically modified food. And they don't have to, that way, they don't have to label it. So yeah. in, in I understand that you're vegetarian. My girlfriend she's vegetarian as well. And, but for the most people who eat meat, they don't even. So basically, what happens is that animal eats the, uh, some uh, genetically modified yeah. Frankenstein food. Let's yeah. put it that way. Yeah. And 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 uh, in, uh, eventually we 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 consume it. I know. Yes, you right, see yeah. that that that's it, that. In fact, you're healthy, obviously. Of course it does. Of course it does. That's yeah. why the allergies are go go uh, gone up uh, in children, and that's why yeah, yeah. that's why other uh, intestines they they, they they get sick. Children get sick. They, they, the intestine doesn't have the bacteria which they're supposed to have to keep the our intestines clean and healthy. You know things like that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, this is. A lot of stuff no label is which is uh, yeah. not inconvenient for the customers, you know. And okay. But you are aware of that. I mean you in India it's a big thing or Yeah, but I don't live in India so yeah. I don't use much so yeah, um, <laughs> yeah only stuff I usually buy from the shop from the store really is label up mostly. So mm. make sure it's, you know, what I'm taking is uh, the right, right, so right food. Do yeah. you read labels when you, when you, when you go yeah, to the shop? Yeah, I read, yeah, you know, especially okay. what, like, you know, the, the sodiums, the sugar label, all this, we have okay. to care for it, yeah. any other stuff we use. Uh, I always do, mostly. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, because yeah. not many people do that nowadays. Uh, they, you they have to because you look after your health, you need of to. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Some are higher, higher in sodium, you know, salt, yes. some are higher in sugar. So you got to balance it out your diets, you know, what you're taking. Hmm. So you follow following I, I some do, kind of I Ayurvedic, follow, yeah. Ayurvedic uh, uh, yeah. way of living or something, you know? Yeah, try to. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you eat meat? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you know what they feed uh, the chicken and the cows? I'm, I'm not sure about it, but let's say stick to the chicken. Do you know what they feed ch chickens with? No. No. They, have a, they feed chickens basically the, all the farmers for the Tesco's, Asda and other, 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 other shop, uh, supermarkets. They feed with soya bean. It comes from South America and from now on most of the soya bean is genetically modified. Have you heard about genetically modified stuff? What, no, what it is? No, no, <laughs> I know. Uh, have, you heard, uh, have you heard about the herbicides? What is herbicide? Herbicide, yeah. Yeah, that's to kill wheat killer, right? Mm -hmm. So wheat killer is, so what they come up, there's a, a big corporation called Monsanto. What they come up with, they come up with the idea, so they, they put the soya bean DNA genes with, with a wheat killer genes, they put them together and they, they come up with new new type of soya bean. So basically in soya bean, there is, there is a herbicides already. And when they spray, when they spray the fields, so it doesn't get affected. The, the okay. soybean doesn't get affected, and uh, so they kill the weeds. But but that herbicide, that, that bacteria is already in there. And then the soybean comes to this country or any European country, and and it and it's they feed the chicken with that, which we eat we afterwards. So what do you if you if what do you think about it? Well, that is very good. Like this. Do, do you think it's it's good? Yeah. Uh, do you think it's healthy? Have you yeah. But the problem is with that. What, that's the one side that people, some people think it's good, but other people, uh, the scientists, what they say, because that's why we have very high uh, level of allergies. Uh, okay. That's why we, because what, what happens that they, they, that uh, they, that wheat killer, the DNA of wheat killer, mm -hmm. it, it drops our immune system down and and it drops the bacteria which we have inside of our intestines mm -hmm. and it. Basically, how they explain that is a uh, leaking guts. 
we had leaking. That's why that's why people have allergies, high allergies, and 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 so yeah, that's what it is. What it doesn't worry you at all that if have, uh, I know allergy, I, I good, <laughs> but uh, yeah. if it's if it's like this, really is not very much good. So do you think they should label the all the all the food? Uh, label it that it's a G GM. Yes, definitely need to label it. Uh, but they don't one. do that. Mm. They don't but do that. need to be. <laughs> do you think that should be? Yeah, I yeah, so, of yeah. course. That need to be everybody know what eating, what shopping, huh? by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but they don't do. Do you read labels? Do you read when you not, go? Not, not really, because always rush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> shopping. Yeah, but do you think they should uh, put more information about it, yes. about genetically yes. modified? Because if it's true that it affects our health, I mean, the health it should be, yeah. should, should be done. Yeah, I believe. Uh, of course, we'll get some people get trouble if it's, I think. The sick, and, yeah. Yeah, sick, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind to talk to us for five minutes about the food quality nowadays? Food policy? Food quality food in the quality. supermarkets and. and, and I just want to ask, are people aware of, of stuff like genetically modified food and uh, all that that things and to find mm -hmm. out your opinion? Is that okay? Mm, it's okay. Yeah? So, so wh where do you shop? Where do you shop? Where do you buy your food? Generally, Tesco, Asda mm -hmm. or Morrison. I live in Handlubas, so locally, you have, locally. The, you eat meat, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you uh, have, you, uh, have you heard anything about genetically modified food? Yeah, I don't like that. You don't like it? No. It, it, do you have any particular reason why, reasons why you don't like it? They, I was a vegetarian person and uh, I started drinking so I had to eat that. But uh, I like chicken or lamb. But why do you think the genetically modified food is not good for us? I don't know, I don't know, because that's in the newspaper, media, mm -hmm. that uh, no good. Did you know, did you know that, well, basically in, in, you, in England it's not allowed to sell genetically modified food, but, but, that the, let's say chicken which they feed with soya bean yeah. is genetically modified. Mm -hmm. Do you think they should do that? Or they should stick to none? I, I, none? Don't, think, I don't think that they should do it. They should stick to non-GM yeah, yeah, food. Yeah. Mm. Have you heard about the uh, problems uh, happening in India with genetically modified uh, crops? And, I'm and living here for the last 45 years. So yeah, I thought maybe you read yeah, the news. Yeah, I, I have heard it, but uh, I'm not in favor of that. Mm. I don't know so much about that. You don't know any much? And you f but you feel you feel that it's, it's something wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think. Yeah. And okay. that's my feeling. Maybe somebody else feeling something mm. different. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel the same way as you do. I yeah. mean, yeah. But do you think they should label it? They should clearly label on the on the on the. They on the actually, whatever the label, mm -hmm. they put some d different label and there's something different inside, which is wrong, I think. Do you think they do that? I. Uh, uh, that's my feeling. Did they did they write one thing on the on the or they they just basically they put the words in funny ways so it would confuse us more. I don't know so much, but I have heard. I have gone through the newspapers. Mm. So. I so, don't do you buy the organic food then? Uh, generally, I'm a vegetarian person. Yeah. So mostly, I eat vegetables. Pulses, Indian pulses, mm. that sort of thing. They have you heard? So, do you think we should have more information about about genetically they modified should, how how be, it's done be, and and, yeah. and then why it's, yeah. it can be dangerous? Yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank Who else we can ask? Hiya. Yeah. Can I ask you something about the food quality nowadays in, a, in the food quality in the supermarkets? 
Well, well right. What do you think? I'm, I'm, okay, look, I'm, I'm not from the country. I'm bugging off soon, so. But yeah, yeah. But where, do, where do you live? Where do you live? Me at the moment. Yeah. I'm just around here, but. But no, what? Don't worry it, about it. Okay. Look, lucky you. You know? Yeah, I know. Excuse me, can I ask you for a few questions on camera? Yeah, I know. Oh, that's not so easy. Quality nowadays in the supermarkets. The food quality in the supermarkets nowadays. What do you think and uh, how how you feel about it? It's fine. Do you like it? Where do you shop? No, I think like whatever I shop is mostly like uh, chocolates and that kind of stuff. I think uh, regarding frozen food, I'm not sure because like I won't use it anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Do you shop in the big supermarkets or? Just sometimes I shop in the Asda. So. Okay. Do you, do you eat meat now? Yeah, I eat meat, yeah. And uh, do, you, do you, are you okay with the quality of the meat in a... In a I, I used to eat meat in the hotels only, so I'm not sure about the what the, from where they bought all these things. Okay. But what I eat in the hotels, that's fine, so... I see. Do you, have you heard about the genetically modified stuff? No. You never heard? Eh? Yes. You, you come from India, right? Yes. Have you heard about BT cotton? BT? Cotton. BT cotton. Okay. Have you heard about it? Yeah. It's genetically modified cotton. Have you heard about it? Okay, yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, BT, yes. BT, yeah? yeah. They call it BT cotton, yes, right? Yes, BT cotton. And uh, so, in this country, it's not allowed to sell genetically modified food. Okay. Right, but what is allowed to do in this country is allowed to to feed the... Uh, they, uh, they give the feed for the animals, which you will eat eventually, uh, with genetically modified soya beans. What do okay. you think about that? I Sorry? Soy beans? Oh, yeah. We don't know about those. We because they feed... Let's say you buy the chicken from Mazda, but uh, that chicken from Mazda is, is fed with soya beans, genetically modified soya beans. You see? Yeah. So what, what's your opinion about that? First of all, like the genetically modified concept which they are talking about, like uh, some scientists are talking is it like uh, good for the future, but some saying it's completely opposite. So there is no clear view about the genetical modification uh, concept itself. So until there is a clear cut of view on this, uh, that uh, genetical modification, we can't come to any conclusion about uh, this stuff. Because like in India also there is a lot of fuzz about this, like some people say it's good, some people say it's wrong, but still they are not able to come to conclusion about the BT stuff. Mm. And even in the Britain also there is a lot of like might be if there is some conclusion definitely yeah it should, if it is a good it's fine if it is a bad definitely it should not be the case in supermarket but don't don't you think that as a human being you should you should decide for yourself what is good for you what is not see the genetical modification do you think what do you think about it? yeah come come on come on, tell me Go ahead. yeah you can say Go ahead. That. <laughs> yeah genetical modification see as a human being. Uh, when I'm eating some food, I don't know like from where it comes from. It's a simple concept, okay? But genetical modification is some concept like uh, which we are not at all aware of. So it's like uh, I'm not sure about it to be frank because like okay. yeah, whether it's good, bad, like because like there are a lot of things will come into the place when uh, people oppose it. But uh, after some months or years, again people will come and say oh, it's good for uh, good for us. So okay, until there's some conclusion on it. I can't say anything whether it's good or bad because I'm not going to decide anything on it. But do you I think they, they should label it? Clearly put the label yeah, on, on there a... Must be, yeah, because it's, then it goes to people's idea like at least they're good idea like okay this is uh, good, this is bad like mm. at least they come to know from where it is coming from then that is different so maybe like if you're aware of that issue you can think it's this is not the one you don't want that. Yeah. If I'm not aware of it's up to me to whether take it or not. So they should label it. Yeah, that's They should true. label it. They should label it for sure. Yeah. Okay.